So to make this inventory automatically highlighted, we were going to use the conditional formatting to apply our condition. And our condition is if our stocks are equal or less than to our reorder point, we want the entire row from codes to stocks to be automatically highlighted. So how to do that? Start from highlighting this range. So from codes to stocks, highlight at that range. And then I'll go to your conditional formatting and then select the new rule. Okay, then here select the use a formula and apply your condition in this box. So our condition is, again, if our stocks are equal or less than to our reorder point, we want the entire row from codes to stocks to be automatically highlighted. So equal stocks, remove the dollar sign before the number, less than or equal to our reorder point. And then again, remove the dollar sign before the number. So this is our condition. And if this condition is true, this is our highlight looks like. And we can customize this by clicking this format. And then here we can apply the color we want for our highlight. So for my highlight color, I will choose yellow. And for my font, okay, let's say black. And then click this OK. So this is our condition and this is our highlights. And then click OK. Okay, so this is our inventory looks like when the conditional formatting is applied. So for now, we have two rows that are highlighted because these two items are equal or less than to our reorder point. And since this inventory is dynamic, we can change the reorder point value anytime. So let's say we will change the item number one to 100. Okay, see this row is automatically highlighted. Okay, let's try again. Let's say 90. Again, it's automatically highlighted. So this is how to make your inventory automatically highlighted when your stocks are equal or less than to your reorder point. And then if you want to remove the conditional format, just select the area where you applied your conditional format and then here clear rules. So either clear rules from this table or clear rules from selected cells.